So we're here at the Petite Agneau Annex, which is a school that I first visited five and a half months ago when it was just two tents which have been set up after the earthquake to start to provide education for children in a very poor area. And it was a school I immediately wanted to build, but it didn't fit in with the Digicel Foundation's requirements where typically we look for a school that has been running up and running for some time. And we do that because we're not in a position to give sustained support to schools because we have so many of them. And so uh, when, um, through Derek and Starbo, I knew that uh, the Mary Black Foundation was looking to build schools in Haiti, I sent them through profiles of six schools. This is, this is what makes this school special in terms of the close relationship that the Mary Black Foundation plans are having with it through our offices. So they're going to fund the teacher salaries, they're paying for the uniforms, the school books, and, and this is an incredible thing because we're in an area where genuinely, as much as Haitian families and parents value education, there is just absolutely no capacity here to pay. <laughs> Donc tout fond qui fait l'école ça avec bel mobilier ça vini de Fondation Meriblick. On va donc gros bravo pour Fondation Meriblick. Le représentant Meriblick qui là c'est Léonard Doyle. Léonard parle français très bien, il va venir parler avec nous. Et Irlande c'est un pays en Europe, euh, mais quand même c'est euh, il y a des comparaisons proches avec Haïti. C'est surtout éducation et surtout Meriblick qui a surtout l'éducation. Et maintenant, euh, je veux dire un, un grand merci à Elisabeth Lava, qui est la directrice. Bonsoir, avec la famille Mary Black. Nous sommes content de l'école là, là parce que nous sommes en train de faire des choses mal à l'école et de travailler à l'école. Merci et puis nous nous félicitons.